Well, the Great Recession was deeper than we originally thought. Last week's GDP figures told us that and indicated that economic growth is slowing more than anticipated. Our next guest says it could have been worse. Well, let's bring in Guy Laban to get the latest read on the economic figures that just crossed this morning. He joins us from Janet Montgomery. Scott, so uh, Guy, Mike McKee was just laying out what uh, the Fed chairman is saying today. He sounds more optimistic than the former Fed chairman in his comments over the weekend. Greenspan saying this is a, it feels at least like a quasi recession. Yeah, and I think Greenspan's comments certainly are true. You know, economic growth is slowing a little bit, but really what we see that as is a transition to the new normal. On the other hand, Bernanke's comments struck a certainly more optimistic note than he did in last week's Humphrey Hawkins testimony. And more than that, we're, we're sort of heading into the period of the August FOMC meeting. So it's particularly important to get an idea of his sentiment going to that meeting. Well, it, let, the sentiment today, at least in the marketplace, seems to be reading today's manufacturing report as a positive, even though it showed a decline. It was better than expectations. What's your reaction to ISM and to construction spending? Well, as far as the ISM number goes, it certainly was a little bit more positive than we we're looking for, but the trajectory is still a little bit down from where it was in the early portions of the economic recovery. And frankly, we think that reflects an industrial sector that's going to be pressured a little bit by reduced demand in Europe over the course of the next 12 months. For construction spending, well, the number's been hovering around zero for a good long time now. As we've known in the residential real estate markets, that, that part of the, the construction markets has been particularly slow and probably will be for a good long time. Now, you say in your latest note that you're on the quote-unquote splat side of the home sales debate. Explain to me what that means. Well, there's a concept in economic forecasting called a dead cat bounce. You throw a cat out the window, well, it bounces. And with the economics numbers with regard to the housing markets, what we're seeing is not so much a bounce as just a splat, not to get too graphic about the matter. And, and we really feel that that construction number is likely to persist for a few months more in here because, frankly, demand for new homes is just being far outweighed by demand for existing properties that are already move into today. Uh, Greenspan said that this uh, focus should be on home prices and whether or not they decline. That could be a tipping point for further uh, contraction. We did see that from a report uh, overnight that Gulf of Mexico homes may lose as much as $56,000 in values each as a result of the oil spill. Is that a tipping point? Is that something that nudge you nudges you towards it? Well, in and of itself, the Gulf of Mexico potential value loss is not really a tipping point because that's a relatively regional aspect. I think the problem is bigger nationwide. If we have another home price decline across the country, well, that introduces a risk of increased mortgage foreclosures, even tougher to access credit markets, and I think that introduces a risk of a deeper spiral. We'll, we'll see if that containment theory holds. Thank you very much, Guy Laba, Jenny Montgomery Scott.